Imagine having all of the data in the palm of your hands that you needed in order to post a tweet on X that has the potential to go viral. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that or potentially do that. Okay. So the automation that I've built goes out, scrapes data from X based on some hashtag search terms that I put in, then it gathers that data. And then I use, um, an analyzing tool called perplexity to analyze that data based on current events and, um, formulate that. And then we throw it into open AI, which then formulates the tweet based on some prompts that I had and, and pre-built some rules that I pre-built. Um, and then we store it on Twitter and that's all automated in under a minute. So this entire blueprint that I have here is already pre-built for you. All you have to do is, um, download the blueprint, click on import and import the blueprint. And then you'll have the entire, you'll have the entire blueprint for you to use, but that's only available to members of, um, my AI automations course, which I'll include a link on the bottom for that. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this step by step right now. All right. So before we get started, the first thing you need to do is you need to sign up for make. If you're not on make.com, of course, I'll have a link below. They are a sponsor for this show. So if you click the link below, of course, it will support your boy, but uh, make is free. It is an automation tool that pulls in a bunch of different applications and a different, different softwares together and allow all those software and all those pieces to talk together. All right. Um, the pricing is free, free to start. So you don't have to worry about that. If you're just building this automation and a few others, you, you have more than enough, um, operations. They call it ops per month in order to do that. But once you start scaling and start growing, um, in your automation journey, you'll have to upgrade to the different plans and, um, that they have here, but it's free to get started Again, click the link below and you're good to go. So now let's jump back on, um, the, the, this, uh, automation that I've built. The first piece that we need is Amplify. Okay. Um, so actually let's go back and start from scratch here. All right, let's create a new automation. All right. So let's, let's start from scratch. So the first thing, the first piece that we need is Amplify. All right. Amplify is um, a scraping tool. All right. So basically what Amplify does is it goes on different websites and it scrapes all of the data. And you can see some of the people, uh, people, but some of the companies or conglomerates that use Amplify and similar tools in order to pull data, right? Cause data is king. Data is gold really in the industry. Um, in our case, we'll be pulling data from X. Um, but you can pull data from Google, from any social media platform, from any website, and it'll pull emails. It'll pull address information, phone numbers, it'll pull everything, put it, throw it in the database. And once it's in that database, you then have the option to, you know, send emails or um, set up phone automations or set up email campaigns, things like that. Once you have the data that you pull it, so Amplify is a pretty awesome tool. I'll include a link to Amplify below as well. And you can start and sign up for free. Um, if we do take a peek at the pricing, what they do, what Amplify gives you is they give you uh, five, um, five, five dollars a month, basically, um, to use. I've been using it heavily uh, multiple times a day and I haven't, I'm like halfway through that. And then my five dollar um, allowance restarts um, at the end. In, in, in a few days actually and i haven't even used it and i've been i haven't even used all of the money that they've given you so they're very generous with the five dollars and the cost it's a fractions of a, of a penny on on to run these automations and you'll you'll, you'll see it in a second but first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for amplify as well and once you sign up under amplify you're going to want to go into settings um and you want to pull uh i believe it's Oops, you want to go into settings. And once you go into settings, uh, if you click on, uh, I believe integrations, you get an API key, API token, um, you copy that. And that's, that's what make is going to need in order to connect, um, um, Amplify 
to make for, for them to, to speak to each other. Okay. All right. So the first thing, the first thing that we want to do here is we want to, um, sorry about that. The first thing that we want to do here is we want to, um, run a task. Okay. And the task that we're doing is, um, we want to run a task right here. Okay. Um, once we run the task, um, again, you have to connect your, uh, Amplify account here and my Amplify account is already connected. The task that we want to run is here. So let's build a task. So the task that we want to run, um, is called a Twitter that we're going to use a Twitter scraper PPR. And the way you find the different, um, the way you build a task is if you go to the store, you can try to search and see what type of automation or type of scraping you want to do rather. Um, in our case where you want to scrape X. So if you were to do like Twitter or X scrape scraper, you'll find a bunch of, a bunch of scrapers and I've, I've tested a few of these and the best one that I found for Twitter was Twitter scraper PPR. Uh, but you can test these a lot of, a lot of them, um, are pretty good and they were, they are tested already through Appify, but I use the Twitter scraper PPR. And once we connect to the Twitter scraper PPR, you'll see that it's 50 cents per thousand results. So, I mean, 50 cents will give you a thousand tweets or a thousand different results on X, which is pretty remarkable. And I think it's a good, um, a data point as far as extracting data that you need in order to start making, um, um, starting, starting to get the data that you need in order to, to complete the task that you want. Okay. So once you, um, go to, uh, Twitter scraper PPR, uh, you have different options. So you can search through a profile. So if you have a specific X profile that you want to search on, you can do that. Like say, for example, um, you want to search like the national notary association and Twitter's account. You just put their Twitter handle there and then it'll just particularly search for, for their account. Okay. Um, but what I like to do is I like to use search terms. Okay. So the search terms that I use and the one I, I, I created three of these, one is for like lenders, one is for like notaries. And, and the third is for like title officers. And then I was able to save that. But this one that you're looking at was the last one that I saved, which was for loan officers, right? So the search terms in the query that I use is um, loan officer, lender, loan, mortgage, lender. That's another twice. Okay. MLO, refinance, HELOC. There's different loan terms. And you want to do the same for like title agency. So you like title agency, title officer. You're going to probably do escrow officer, like settlement officer. You might want to do like something like um. Um, like an Alta HUD, like different, different search terms when it comes to the title industry. Um, something that any title officer or title officer or title agency may the hashtag, right? The hashtag too. So that's something that you're going to want to do as well. So once you, once you create and, and formalize your search term, what you want to do is you want to go up to the right hand corner and you want to do what you want to do is create a task. Cause if you remember and meet what we, what we're looking for is you're looking to run a task. So in order to run a task, you have to create one. All right. So if I go to my save tasks, then if I go to title, I, I, I labeled it X scraper title. And, um, if again, if you go to the search terms that I, I put in here, like title agency, S or officer, you know, funding authorization, 1031 exchange, HUD. and I'm going to continue to add to these as I see, um, different, uh, Twitter hashtags being used. I'm, I'm, I'll add them here. So that way when I scrape, I'll scrape, uh, relevant, um, tweets. Okay. So, all right. So let's go back in here. So once we go back into make, we'll click on the tasks and on our, my case, we are doing title, right? All right. So hit okay. And if we run once, let's run this module once, run the model only, let's make sure it work. You should see a green check mark. Boom. So it's basically saying, okay, make it saying, all right, I'm talking to Appify and we are good to go. All right. So what I'm going to do, uh, my best practice is to rename this. So it says fetches hashtag fetches hashtags. Oops. And who fetches a dog? And what does a dog fetch? A bone. So let's look for a bone. Right, let's search bone. 
All right, because we're trying to give a dog a bone here, baby. All right. Pause. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So once we fetch for the bone, um, what we want to do is we want to uh, put a timer here. So what I know, what I've noticed is if I want to go straight to the next um, operation in this module, in this automation, rather, it'll it, it was failing, and I was wondering why. Is because we have to give the automation time to run okay so actually so being that i ran I, I did run this the automation may be running so if you go to run um look it, it looked like one it just ran um and uh, it cost me a penny to run and they found 20 results based off of the based off of the um search terms right which is cool and oh i didn't show that to you so if we go to save tasks again if we go to, to title um, and if we go to uh, results, I did select 20 results. You can choose 40, 50, whatever you want, but just to keep, just to keep, just, just to keep the automation running smoothly and not to overwhelm, well, not to overwhelm that I just kept it at 20 and I, I was still able to produce the results that I was looking for, but um, you, you're free to, you're free to use as many um, as you like. All right. So I didn't, I forgot to point that out. My apologies. So right, let's go back into make. So then what you want to do is you want to go to tools and on the tools, you want to do sleep. All right. So this is a sleep timer and this is based off the second. I set it to 60 seconds, which is a little overkill. Um, you can set it to less than that, but I just wanted to give it enough time. And if you look at the, what, what ran, it looked like it, it only took, um, nine seconds to do it i mean but i was giving it enough time enough time that it needed and it needs in order to the process right because i noticed in when i was doing when i did my notary automation um it took a lot longer it took about like 40 seconds or 30 some seconds because it was just a lot, a lot more tweets i guess um notaries you know notaries like to tweet, like to tweet a lot so um <laughs> it was a lot of tweets that was being pulled so i think 60 seconds is the best part. so again let's Rename it, and we're gonna call it a 60 second. And let's give it an emoji. Let's see sleep. All right, take it that, right? Perfect. So after we after we do this, what we want to do after we take the nap, what we want to do is we want to retrieve the data from the task that we just ran, right? So we hit the plus sign and we go back to Appify. What we want to do is we want to say get data set items. So App, um, Appify puts everything in what's called data sets, or you could even think about it like a database. And it takes everything, throws it in a database. And what we're doing right now is we're pulling that database from Appify into me. Okay. So we say, uh, we just want to say get, get data set. And the data set ID is what's important. So once we click on data set ID, it's going to pull all of the information from uh, what was fetched. So if we even collapse this, you'll see it says fetch X hashtag, which is the task that we ran. Um, if we expand it, we should see an option that's called data set ID. I can see, I have my glasses on, but I still can't see. Uh, data default data set ID. All right, and that's all we need from here, right? Default data set ID, um, JSON clean, perfect. That's all we need. We hit okay, and let's run it. Actually, before we run it, I like to do my emojis, and I like to have to name, label everything just to keep everything as clean as possible. Possible. So we say gathers, um, gathers fetched data. Then who gets the bone? The dog, right? Let's pull it up over here. Let's pull this dog right here. All right, so let's run this now. So uh, let's hit save. Let's just run once. All right, so what, what it's gonna do now is going to fetch the data. If we go back to Appify and let's hit refresh our runs, we should see that it's running now. Boom, see it's running right now. So the Twitter is running. It's going to Twitter. It's fetching any hashtags that are relevant to what we put into that um, data set. And 
um, as it runs. It's gonna continue to pull information and as it's pulling the information, we're taking a 60 second nap, okay? So in um, a minute, it's complete, okay? All right, so it looks like it's still running here. So it completed, it found the 20, uh, it pulled the 20 results. And then again, it only costs us a penny. And if you look at my my usage right down here to the lower left-hand corner, I'm on the free account, which I recommend for you to get. And you notice I only use uh, $2.48 out of the $5. That was $5 allowance that uh, Appify gives. And uh, if you look at my history, it's only showing 20, but I, I run this a lot and I've done a lot of testing and everything like that. And um, it's pretty good for the, for the prices. It's free. All right, so if we go back here, when we're done, <clears throat> if we click on the magnifying glass, we'll see that it pulled 20 different results. So let's look at, let's just take a peek at the first one. All right, so this is, uh, it was pulled from Heritage Title Company um, by the examiner, usually referred to in the title industry terms as title examiner, one who examines and determines the condition and status of real titles. Real, I'm sorry, real estate titles. And if we look at the metadata, to see if there's any photos here. This is a photo that was pulled. Uh, and, if we, and if we use uh, GPT, GPT 4.0, you can analyze those photos. We, I mean, we can go deep into this. Um, and I'm trying to look at the hashtags that was used. Let's do user information, entities, hashtags. If you go to entities, hashtags, oh, it's not even shown here, but all right. Well, it was, it was still, it, it probably pulled it because um, she looked like, um, this tweet didn't use any hashtags, but it did use title. So, you know, it's smart enough to know that title was mentioned in the actual tweet. So then it, it pulled that one. So that's just the first one. Oh, let's choose another one. Uh, this one was from um, Orchestrate MTS. It's tired of tedious title paperwork. Or Orchestrate um, simplifies your workflow with dedicated professionals um, handling every step from initial research to final clearance. So. Uh, let's see if this one had any hashtags. Uh, let's see if we can pull it. What was it again? Entities, hashtags. Oh, here. So they use hashtags. So the hashtag they use was closing process, uh, title search. I probably should include some of these on there. Um, and they put their, their thing in there and they put title solutions. So, which is cool. So anyway, this goes to 20 different hashtags, right? So, so you see how the data is formulated? It's formulated into different bundles. So what we have to do next is we have to take all of those bundles and take in all the information that we need and we need to put it into, we need to combine it and put it into one chart so that we make it readable for us, okay? So um, Make has a has plenty of tools, but this one tool that we would like to, to use is called a, a text aggregator. So if you go back into tools and then we go to text aggregator, Right, the text aggregator is going to take all the information in the data set and it's going to push it into um, push all of those fields into one field, right? And our source module is the gathers fetch data, right? Which is the last one. And the text that we need is we need to pull um, the text with the aggregator fields. Uh, let's see here. Let's just show advanced row separator. Uh, Here. All right, so I'm looking for text, right? Right. So we just need the text. All right. And okay. And cool. So what's this going to do now is it's going to, again, pull all of the text that we need and push it into one field. Now, once that's done, we want to analyze all of that data. So now we have 20 different tweets at one big, gigantic tweet. And what I found that's really great is if we want to keep our tweet that we eventually would like to post on the long term um, and make it relevant, we should use perplexity. Perplexity is um, basically if 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 Google and Chat GPT was to get have a child, it will be called perplexity. Okay, so 
chat GPT and open AI, um, they have a large database of data and, and knows a plethora of everything basically. But a lot of times that information is not in real time. Perplexity is like a Google search. So when you search that information, it's going to pull um, information that's relevant. So what I would like Perplexity to do is I'm telling Perplexity, hey, look at the data that I just pulled. Look at all these tweets that I just pulled. Analyze it. Do your research on it based off of whatever you find on the internet that's relevant and formulate it and make it nice for, for us so that way we can formulate your data into a tweet. Okay. So let's pull up um, perplexity.ai. And again, in the community, I have um, prompts and um, different data on perplexity so that you can be able to understand more about it. Okay. So if you go to perplexity, that AI, what we want to do with perplexity, that AI is we want to create a chat completion. And in the chat completion, what we want to do is we want to use a uh, 3B instruct is what we want to use. And on the message, the content we want to use, I'm going to do this cheat here. I'm going to copy it from my thing here. Hit paste. Oops. Thing. Thing. He's in the wrong thing here. Give me one second. All right. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Get it for you. Give me one second. Finally, come on. Making me look bad here. All right. So what I what I put here is I said assume the role of a social let's close this out assume the role of a social media expert specifically when it comes to content creation your expertise is in writing on behalf of national notary signing service company companies so that I wrote it based on me but you may want to write something as a loan signing agent or a notary loan signing agent right we want to change this piece right here and analyzing tweets and analyzing tweets on X, formerly known as Twitter, you receive an input of random tweets that may include links to images. I need for you to analyze, research, contextualize, and find any common trends so I can formulate a tweet on X. And the input that I want to give it is the text that the aggregator gets. So this is all of the tweets. I wanted to combine all of the tweets, all of the combined tweets. I need you to use that and formulate, formulate something that's contextualized for two, for, uh, for X. Okay. The role is going to be user and the max tokens. We will say, say a thousand, right? We'll hit okay. Um, and, uh, let's again, let's, uh, rename this. We're going to call it X. Tweet. And it's going to tool. Let's give it a toolbox because this is our tool set. So let's say tools. Box. All right. Hit OK. Let's hit save and let's run it once. OK. So again, <clears throat> Amplify is going to go on Twitter or go on X, pull all the tweets. Pull all the tweets from 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 Twitter. Um, while I was doing while I was doing that, Meg is taking a nap. And go, go back to Appleify, and we'll see what's running. Uh, I can refresh my screen here. We'll see if, if it's running. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's already it's already done. All right, so it's already done on that. Oh, we missed that. We missed that. Uh, we missed that boat. All right, so this is gonna complete soon. Once this completes. Then it's going to gather all of that. It's going to gather all the data, gather all the data, pull it into make. Then um, this tool is going to then take all that data, squish it together. And then perplexity is then going to take all of that, those tweets, analyze it, and come up with something that we can use to then formulate our post. All right. So that's done. To the text, see the long text. I pulled all of those tweets into one text. Cool. And now perplexity did its thing. So let's see what it see what it came up with, right? Alright, so if we go back to usage, sorry, choices one uh message content. Alright, if we go here, let me just squeeze to the left. Uh, okay, perfect. 
So it says, as a social media expert, I've analyzed the input input tweets and identified common trends, themes, keywords related to the National Science Signing Service. One, the title industry. The majority of tweets revolved around the title industry. How do they know that? And how do they know that we're working around the title industry, right? So, so I knew that. Real estate transactions. Many tweets discuss the process of buying and selling real estate. Um, notary services, uh, notary public services are mentioned several times, highlighting the importance of notaries and real estate transactions, mortgage and lending. Tweets also touched on mortgage and lending topics, including underwriting, bank statements, document requirements, the common keywords. It pulled the common tweets or the common hashtags rather. And the trends, education and awareness. Many tweets aim to educate readers about title industry, real estate, um, title industry, real estate transactions, and the importance of understanding the process. Uh, professional networking, several tweets promoted, promote professional networking and collaboration among, amongst real estate professionals, including notaries, title companies, and lenders. And you can go on and on and on. I'm not gonna bore you with reading this entire thing, but you can see that it did its market research. And now we can use this data to make our tweet, all right? And what we're gonna do in this case, hmm, I'm even thinking if I should do something else, but I can, we, we're gonna keep it with chat GBT. And in the next video, I'll show you something other, something, something else that's pretty cool. So if we open up open AI, what we want to do is we want to message an assistant. So an assistant is a bot, basically. Um, it's like a robot that I've already predefined in open AI. All you have to do is go into open AI. Once you go there, you want to create an assistant. And once you create an assistant, then you'll be able to use that assistant on different um, automations, okay? This is just basically a set of rules that I've already defined for X. It's gonna tell you, say, okay, how many, what's the, how many character, how many characters you can use, what type of format you should use, things like that. And again, in the course, I have a PDF file um, that include, that has the exact um, bot language prompt that I use. And you can just copy and paste it and put it into your OpenAI account. Um, OpenAI, for those that don't know, um, is a platform that you can use in order to have access to ChatGPT, okay, basically. And um, in order to use the OpenAI platform, once you're logged in there, you just have to create an account and you have to load money on there, right? So usually it's a $10 minimum you put on there. And then once it goes below a certain threshold, you can um, then replenish that account. But that $10 takes you a very, very, very long way. But again, these automations takes, it's pennies on the dollars to run these automations. And um, um, because the whole point is for it to be open for you know, the public and anyone to, to use. So the cost is very low, okay? So the system that I have here, is xbot version two i have a version one here but i'm going to be using version one. okay um <clears throat> what we're doing here is we are going to copy and paste again all right so let me <laughs> show you that just to keep it simple and keep and to keep this video rolling because we're already at about 30 minutes so i just want to respect your time as far as user we want to keep it um the role as a user and the message is here okay what we're saying here is we want to parse the text below and extract any recommendations for a tweet as your output if none are if none are suggested write a viral tweet using the text below be sure that the tweet offers value to title agencies and draws the title agency away from a pain point just to touch on that this has nothing to do with um this has nothing to do with um, well, that actually does. Okay, so whenever you do a cold prospecting and you're do, doing any type of marketing or any type of outreach, you want to pull somebody that you don't know that's cold away from pain. Okay, and then if it's somebody that you know, you can you can you can you can sell them a pleasure, right? I'll give you a massage today. You can sell them that, but if you if, if it's somebody you don't know, you said, I'll help you get off the floor after you fall. That's a pain point. Anybody, you you allow anybody to help you up. Or if you fall on the floor, you allow anybody to help you up, right? But you're not going to allow anybody to massage your feet, right? Because it's just, it's, it's just, um, 
you want when you deal with someone cold and on Twitter we, we we're, we're speaking to the masses so we don't know everyone that's on Twitter so we want to run them away from a pain so that that's gonna help your your tweet be viral become viral okay so anyway I digress so if the text that we need to use is the text that we've pulled from the text that we pulled from um it's perplexity right so you want to go to choices and then you want to go to um uh message and you want to go to content right so this is the content that came out from there perfect okay so we don't have any image files we don't need that no image urls um because it's pulling um images so if you wanted to do some research on images and which we can also do here if we really wanted to so we could pull the, any images that came from the tweet and analyze those as well i mean we can we can really go deep but i'm just trying to scratch the surface so that it makes it easy for you to, to implement this in your in your automation okay so that you're okay um once you go here and we gotta rename it we're gonna call it uh viral x suite we get another emoji going. We gotta do this to the fire emoji because it's gonna be seen to be fire. All right, get okay. Boom. All right, so we got our tweet. We we, we got we did the research. Now we gonna formulate the tweet and this is save on time instead of running this again. Let's throw it on X. Okay, so X. So what we want to do on X is we want to create a post. Boom. Now I have to warn you about this, right? Twitter and and getting things set up on Twitter as far as with make and just their process on how they have things set up on the back end, it is tricky. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna warn you warn you about that. And I'm gonna create a separate video. I mean, is that tricky that I wanna create a separate video on how you connect X to to make okay but if you look briefly at this help um if you click when you click on the x if you click on this help option it'll take you to their to 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 make instructions and it's pretty and, and it's these are, if you follow these instructions to a t it's gonna work okay but it can be, it can be tricky because then you have to you have to go into the x develop developers portal set up um, set up your account there which is free you set up a free account there once you do that then you have to create like an app then you have to give that app permissions um, I'm not, I'm not overcomplicating it. This is exactly the steps that you have to do. Once this is done, then you can go back into make. Okay. Um, you can go back into make and then you'll be able to set up your connection with make. All right. Again, I'll, I'll do a separate video on that. If you had any trouble, actually comment below. If you think, if you have trouble with this comment below and say, make that X video, make that X. I want you to say make, and I want you to say that D A T X. Make that X video. <laughs> so that's so Ibon. It's so ghetto. I know it's ghetto. I don't care. I don't care. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Make that X video. Um, and then I'll, I'll make that. X. All right. But I'm probably gonna do it anyway, but I want your permission. All right. Boom. So once you have the X set up, what you want to do is a text context. You want to do, get the results from your viral tweet from what, uh, chat. GPT did for you all the work it did for you. You want to throw that in X and then you are straight. So what we want to do here is we want to rename this again. We are going to say post to X. So I'm going to say formally, formally the bird. I'm going to call this a bird. Let's see bird. We got to find a blue bird. Yep. There we go. Um, boom all right guys so we created the entire automation what we have to do next is we just have to run it so let's run the entire thing one more time again what we're doing is we're saying hey amplify run that task that i've created so that and it's going to create 20 tweets so amplify said all right i got you so we go back to amplify say refresh it probably finished already because i'm talking too much um it's running ran sorry <laughs> it's pretty quick it takes out uh, eight seconds this time pulled 20 tweets from twitter boom all right so now we're taking a 60 second nap after that runs we're taking a 60 second nap and saying hey we're gonna wait for that automation to run once that automation runs then we are going to um 
pull that data from Appify. We're gonna take that data from Appify. We're gonna all we're gonna take all of the, 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 the tweets. We're gonna crush it, make it one big tweet. Then we're gonna say, hey, perplexity, take that one big tweet, analyze it, search the web, find out what's going on right now, so that way I can make a viral tweet. Perplexity says, gotcha. It does that. And we tell uh, OpenAI, OpenAI, we need you to take what perplexity, the research from perplexity found, and we need you to create a viral tweet based off of the parameters that you set or that I've set in OpenAI's assistant. All right. Once that's done, we can throw it on Twitter or X, and we got our viral tweet. Now we can run this as many times as you want during the day. You could run this every hour if you want. So that way, if you want to do a tweet every hour, you can do that. Um, it's up to you how, what your frequency is. And to control that, you can do, you can just um, hit this scheduling, uh, um, scheduling option right here. Um, and on the scheduling option, um, you can set it to the different intervals. You can say once a day, you can say once a week. Um, you can say you can say if you want to do it every three hours, every two hours, whatever you want to do, you can set it here. All right, and then you can just consistently have some automation and post it to X. Okay, all right, so we're done. So let's let's check out. Um, we didn't see um, Twitter. I'm sorry, we didn't see uh, uh, ChatGPT last time. So let's 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 look at that. So let's look at the output. Is it stepping up the game in t hashtag title agency services? As a notary signing expert, I have. I'm here to analyze trends and tailor insights that solve your specific pain points. Man, how perfect is that? It says, what's your biggest challenge today? Hashtag notary services. And it posted it to Twitter. All right, so, or X, like, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but I mean, uh, it's Twitter in my heart. You know what I'm saying? It's, Twitter. it's still Twitter in my heart, it's not X anymore, okay? So now let's go, let's go over to X and let's see the post, right? I'm gonna refresh my page. All right, boom, here it is right here. Stepping up, stepping up the game in hashtag title agency services. As a notary signing expert, I'm here to analyze trends and tailor insights that solve your specific pain points. What, what's your biggest challenge today? So ask them a question to increase engagement. I mean, this is, this is, this is great. This is automation at its best. I hope that you found some value here. Again, leave a fire emoji in the comments below. Again, if you have access to the course, I'll, I'll give you this entire blueprint. It's gonna be right inside of the community. I have to click download again, click on import right here, import the blueprint, you'll have this entire thing. Only thing you have to do is plug in your accounts here and you'll be, you'll be set to go. But I taught you exactly how to do this automation on your own. Now go out there and crush it on Twitter. We did it for title agency. You need to do it for the mortgage industry. You need to do it for real estate agents. You need to do it for the notary. So that way you can crush, crush it on X. Okay, hope you find value in this video. Until next time, guys.